This is gonna be a video of my solar desalinator that I made. I'm not gonna go into too much detail. I'm just gonna go through quickly what I did. Um, so what I have is I have a 100 watt solar panel here. And then this 100 watt solar panel goes into this PV charge controller that I got from Amazon. Um, and what this will do, this will charge a battery right here. And this battery is 12 volts, 35 amp hours. Um, and then from the battery, it's going to go into this DC motor controller that I also got from Amazon here. Um, and then this DC motor controller will go into this heating element down in here, which is 12 volts and 300 watts. Um, and the reason for this, just quickly, is this will hook up to the battery and I have this so that I can change how much current is going to flow into this heating element. So I can either, with this potentiometer here, I can dial it back to full full power or like 50%. Um, once the water is boiling in this, I can uh, dial it back. Um, and then from this heating element, when the water boils into steam, it'll go into this distill that I made um, and I'll fill this up with water um, and then the steam will go down this pipe and then into this bottle which is fresh water um, now I'll hook everything up and then show you it actually working um, it's decently sunny the panel's saying it's like 50 watts right now producing 50 watts so that's like 50 percent um, efficient right now so I'll hook it up and, and I'll show you actually working. Right now I'm testing the solar panel and this charge controller that I got from Amazon. Uh, it was pretty cheap, so I just wanted to test it. Um, and how I'm testing it is I have this 12 volt battery that's dead right now. Um, and the solar panel out, it's pretty sunny right now. And I just wanted to check uh, like how accurate these readings are on the um, charge controller because it's it was pretty cheap on Amazon. So right now, saying 13.7 volts is the battery, which is correct. I measured that with a voltmeter. Um, and it's saying the solar panel is charged. This is what I really wanted to check. 3.1.7. Sorry, I got to get back to it. saying like 2.8 it, it varies i'm in kind of shading the panel um and this is a uh like power tester that i have that i know is correct so i'm just kind of comparing these numbers with uh the numbers that this is giving me and it's pretty accurate uh right now it's pretty sunny this panel is 100 watts and it's saying it's only producing 32 watts which i'm not happy with so I need to kind of turn it until it's in the sun directly. Um, but as for the panel charge controller, I'm happy with what it's doing. Uh, for this purpose, I think it'll be just fine. Right now I got everything hooked up. Um, and what I'm gonna do is for the first, however long it takes to boil this water, I'm gonna monitor the temperature with this uh, grilling thermometer. Um, and once it's around close to boiling, I'm going to put the lid right there on it and then fill this up with water and uh, start to produce fresh water. Um, and I'm going to put a timer on my watch here to show you just how long it takes to boil the water in that container. So we're about two minutes and 30 seconds in and the temperature's at 138 degrees. You can see like a little bit of bubbling. Uh, it takes a little bit longer to boil, actually a lot longer. But uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty quick. This is 300 watts. So that's a lot of a uh, lot of energy. Um, and I want to show you how I uh, dial back this potentiometer and the motor controller. So it's at 100 right now. So it's just full on. It's giving this 300 watts, um, and I can dial it back. 
see uh, you can dial it back like that's 70 percent so once it's officially like at a rolling boil um i like to dial it back and right now i mean it's really shady so it, the panel's only it was about an amp a second ago there's like a cloud right now so the panel's only getting it's not really getting it so the panel's not giving the battery much but I'm okay with that because I know that this works. So I just need a sunny day and um, like no clouds for it to actually charge the battery a lot. Um, right now it went up to 154 just in the time I was talking. Um, and I'll come back. I'm probably going to put the lid on and then just come back when this is actually producing water. So 16 minutes in, um, it's starting to produce water from the steam. Um, and that'll just keep going like that until this entire bottle uh, boils off. I'm gonna let it run for a little longer and then show you like in 20 minutes or so, just how much it produces. So at around 20 minutes, I turned this off uh, and let everything cool down. And then I got the water out of this bottle and poured it in here just to see how much I had. And it produced around, right around a half of a cup uh, of water, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, there's always more you can do with stuff like this. Uh, for example, like this bottle here is incredibly inefficient. Um, this heats up so much and so much heat is wasted through this bottle. Uh, and something that we could do to combat this is like put a heat shield so that the water inside of this um, is, is getting all the energy and, and heat isn't getting wasted through this bottle. Um, also something I could do is this coil gets incredibly hot. Uh, so hot that this water in this distiller here, um, the steam heats it up to almost boiling the water in here. Um, and something that like a real application would do is this water would get exchanged into this bottle. Um, and then it would get produced into steam and then it'd just be a cyclic process where this would get heated up, almost boiling, then it would get put into this uh, actual the heating element where it turns into steam and then fresh like contaminated salt water would get put back into this and it would just kind of loop around um, and loop around. Also, uh, something that I could do would be to scale everything up. Like for example, the battery, this bottle, I could get bigger, the solar panel. Um, but that's not really the point. It's more just to prove that uh, a solar panel and a standalone system like this can produce fresh water forever. Um, and that's just something that's really amazing. Um, in the description and stuff, I'll, I'll kind of go over and link some of the stuff I uh, got from Amazon and used. Um, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you like this video.